St. John's Episcopal Church in Wisconsin Rapids. I'm Father Dave Kluderman, the priest in charge. Today, we switch gears from what we have been doing in our virtual services. We open up the experience from going to a, a prayer service that mimicked the Sunday Eucharist to Compline, a service that is traditional, it closes the day for many people, it offers that chance for reflection on the day and the chance to entrust our lives to God once more. We hope you will enjoy it. We hope that it will be a blessing to you that you can watch it throughout the week, maybe at the close of the day yourself, and thus enter into that experience of entrusting our lives to God and entrusting ourselves to each other. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. No. A reading from the book of Genesis. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze, and the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to me to be with me. She gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. The Word of the Lord. As we hear the words from Genesis, we are reminded that it was God's intention all along when he created the man and the woman in the garden that they might walk together, they might be together. When they chose to eat of the fruit that was forbidden them, their actions had consequences, and they found themselves unable to even be with God, much less walk with Him. Our actions oftentimes have consequences we don't intend. That makes it all the more important for us to somehow recognize what we do and ask what the consequences might be. Otherwise, we may very well risk separating ourselves from the ones we want to walk with, the ones we should walk with, the ones we should be with in love. As we go forth in this week, let us remember who it is that we are called to walk with and how we can maintain 
our relationship with them. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings. Let us pray in the words that our Savior Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good proceeds, grant that by your inspiration we may think those things that are right, and by your merciful guiding may do them. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great might, and mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night for the love of your only son our savior jesus christ keep watch dear lord for those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep tend the sick lord christ give rest to the weary bless the dying soothe the suffering pity the afflicted shield the joyous and all for your love's sake. We invite you to offer your intercessions and thanksgivings at this time. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us, now and always. Amen.
Out of the depths have I called to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, Lord, were to note what is done amiss, O Lord, who could stand? For there is forgiveness with you, therefore you shall be feared. I will wait for the Lord, my soul waits for him, in his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than watchmen for the morning, more than watchmen for the morning. O Israel, wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy. With him there is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.